Hello everyone, this is Just Dopey here, and today what we have here is, it's not a television, but it's a monitor. Yes, this is a Sony Trinitron PVM, that stands for Professional Video Monitor. 6041Q, I think, I think that's a model number. Now, these were a monitor offered by Sony at the time. They were a series of monitors. In fact, they still make them, but with an LCD dis display for obvious reasons. Um, but the CRT models, um, they were available, I think, since the start of late 70s, early 80s. I could be wrong there. But this little guy here was the smallest of a bunch. This one has a 5-inch CRT measured diagonally because that's the way... That's how they used to measure the size of a screen back then. Unlike now with LCDs, which is the total width. But anyway, um, I think the sizes were offered up to about 20 inches. Maybe a little bit more, maybe about 22 inches. I think that's a bigger size, I can't remember. But it was somewhere along those lines. Um... But this one and the 8-inch model were actually portable sets because they have like a little carry handle thing. Also, another feature to, mo uh, to note with these models is that the 5-inch and the 8-inch models also had a little leg that you can push back and it could actually rest it on an incline, as shown. Let's have a look at the controls. So we've got your brightness. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. So if you can't see it very well, I do apologize about the lighting. So you've got your brightness control. You've got your chroma, so that's how much color you want to be shown in the picture. Uh, you've got phase. I think that's another color control. I don't know what the purpose of that was. Um, this is contrast, you can see. C O N T I yeah, that's contrast. So that controls your black level. And you have volume. Yeah, um Sony Trinitron PVMs did have a built-in mono speaker, which is another cool feature. Because I think this uh, with the lower end models, but the lower end monitors didn't really have a built-in speaker. Sony Trinitron PVMs were a, a high end, high end marketed monitor back in the day especially the crt ones because the pvms produced a much much higher resolution picture quality than what a television would produce at the time especially when it comes to a little five inch color crt like this because the nature with color crts is that the little dots, right, they can only be so small. But in this case, with the Trinitron, it uses an aperture grill, which is a bunch of lines, which also gives it a much higher resolution. Now, I think this one displays around about 250 television lines, but the bigger Sony Trinitron PVMs, they could display up to about somewhere between 700 to 900 television lines probably even more than that so yeah very high resolution um i have this one is hooked up to my set top boxes is showing up there uh the controls are at the back there's only one audio jack in because again it's only a mono mono speaker anyway we'll turn it on We'll wait for the tube to warm up. I would like it if you would meet me at the community pool. So what do we uh, got here? Oh yes. Channel nine. Okay, Joe. I posed in front of strangers with makeup on. Yeah, you can do this. Let's see what's on TV. So what's this? Uh, uh, it's channel 10. Okay, the David. Amazing. Joey, double thumbs up. Yeah, picture quality on this little monitor is very good considering its size. 
Now, PVMs were what you call a multi-purpose monitor. So pretty much they were used for applications such as data display, uh, video surveillance, um, viewfinders for professional photography and videography, and yeah, stuff like that. But this one can do audio surveillance because it's got a built-in speaker. It's, um, it's Carson Drew, your former attorney. There was an old transaction. Now Sony at the time did also offer a conventional black and white uh, models as well. The ones that didn't have the Trinitron tube, it just had a standard black and white CRT. And prickly 15 years ago, and I can only imagine it's gotten worse. So. I'll turn the brightness up a bit. Now today, since the CRT ones are rendered obsolete, you'll find a lot of these on secondhand, on online secondhand shops like eBay or Gumtree or Facebook Marketplace. And they become a common collect, a collector's item against retro gamers because they offer such a really good quality picture. Hey Jay. They're alive. Sorry to bother you. I would have called, but you don't have a Convergence phone. on this particular unit is also very good. Inside. Now, when I bought this from eBay, right, about... About... Nearly, yeah, about over two years ago now. Um, the owner said that it had a, a very slight burn in. You probably can't see it very well. I don't think you can actually see it at all, but like you have to look very closely. I don't think he, I don't think the camera can pick it up. No, probably not. Probably a good sign, actually. Um, this unit's former use, I don't know. But the owner seems to think he was used at a television broadcasting station. Who's coming and what seven days? What is that? What do what you think looking at? I can't help you. You don't want what I have. Tend for yourself. AJ, I need you. I know it's I really love these little monitors. They provide an excellent picture quality and they've got a very excellent build quality. This is all metal, by the way. It's got a metal chassis. But the only downside. I have to say about this is that it is goddamn heavy. This thing is a brick. It looks like a brick and it weighs like a brick. And this is the only smallest model. So you can imagine how much bigger ones would have weighed. Let's skim through the channels. Absolutely, this woman was. Ten shake, Paw Patrol. Ten HD. TV SA. Maybe six months. So, uh, grab yours right now. We're going to come back. It is the top of the range. Congratulations. Uh, if you grab one, but you can grab one right now on 13, 23, 10. Another good feature about Sony Trinitron PVMs is that they can run at 60 hertz. So that means it, run, it will run at a higher refresh rate compared to 50 hertz, which is a standard refresh rate for CRTs, and it gets rid of that flicker. Now, if I turn the refresh rate higher, you might notice the squeal is actually higher. It goes higher. That's because that horror, that squeal that you hear with CRT TVs, that high frequency sound, is actually caused by the horizontal oscillator because it runs at a frequency. And if you increase the refresh rate, obviously it's going to increase the frequency that the horizontal oscillator will run. See how it gets rid of that flicker? Because it's running at a high refresh refresh rate and the picture's suddenly brighter. That's because that flicker is not there. Challenge number two. Pro Express Ultimate. To start our day. Is a great way to 
people wake up in the morning, you're huffing, babe. I know, I'm getting a cardio <laughs> workout, too. Okay, your turn. But uh, this is uh, one of my favorites, is the bicep workout. Then you can do it. Pull up this way here. Anyway, I'll turn the unit off. Right in here. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but you can hear like every time I turn this off, you can hear like a like a crackly sound. That's just a CRT and the capacitor's discharging. Because the CRT acts like a capacitor. Like when you switch a CRT on, the charge builds up on the aqua dag of a CRT, right, and it connects to ground. And when you switch it off, all that electricity or current or, um, yeah, all that current builds up and it's got a discharge somewhere. So that's what caused that crackling sound. Anyways, thank you for watching and more to come later. Bye.